Let's start by launching the IPEX UCS mobile application on your iPhone. The app will open to the Presence screen. We'll talk more about this later. This bar shows the main menu tabs for calling, instant messaging, other messages and application settings. The Options button displays additional features and settings relevant to the screen you are in. This icon allows you to view an organisational chart of your contacts by department. Click on a colleague's name to view their contact information and to add them to your presence list. Use the search field to find your colleagues by their name, phone number or department. The My Profile box displays your phone status, presence status and profile picture. You can also set a personal message to display here. Use the Settings menu to change your name, picture, password and today's message. Beneath this, you can see the phone and presence status of your chosen contacts, arranged by group. You can set up and assign users to a group in the Options menu. Your presence status tells other users your availability to receive calls and instant messages. To manually change your presence, select My Presence in the Settings menu and then choose an option from the list. In the Settings menu, select the My Phone status option to set your phone to Do Not Disturb mode or to set up call forwarding. Do Not Disturb mode will prevent your IPEX UCS client from receiving calls when you are busy, and callers will receive a busy tone or be redirected to voicemail if set up. Forward allows you to redirect incoming calls to other extensions, to an outside number or to your voicemail. Select or enter the destination number, set the forward condition and then select Forward to activate call forwarding. To make a call, use the dial pad to enter the number or press more to search for a contact on your phone and then press the green call button. Answering a call via IPEX UCS is easy. Press answer to connect the call or reject the call by pressing the hang up button. To transfer an active call, press the transfer button. Dial the number or select a contact to receive the call. To complete the transfer, hang up the call. During a call, the screen will display buttons giving you the option to place the call on hold or to mute the call so that the caller cannot hear your voice. You can use IPEX UCS to set up a multi-party conference call. Make or receive a call as normal using the dial pad or contact menu. Then press the conference button. Place the second call then press the conference button again. To add additional parties, repeat these steps. Once all the calls have been established, press the conference button again to connect all parties. To establish a video call, press the video call button during an active call to a colleague with UCS or an IPEX video enabled phone. During a video call, you can pause sending your video image by pressing the block video button. Press the hang up button to end the video call and voice call. The IM list icon will change when you receive a new message. Press the icon to view all active conversations. To start an instant messaging session from the IM list menu, select the new message icon on the top left of the screen. Choose a contact using the search or advanced search functions and the instant messaging session will begin. To close all active conversations, select the delete icon from the top right of the page and then delete all. The messages tab icon will change to indicate you have a new message, such as a voicemail. The message screen displays a summary of the message type and shows the number of new messages in brackets. 
you can manage and control playback of your voicemail messages by selecting a message to display in the Message Detail Information screen. For more information on using IPEX UCS Mobile, please consult your Key Features Guide or speak to your telecoms provider. Thank <music> you.